Tom, it's good to meet you. Uh, uh, as as uh, as as you may know, as the people wh- who may be watching this may know, uh, most of the time when we end up in a situation like this where we're on a one on one call, it means that you and I have gone back and forth again and again over email and we can't figure out the problem. And eventually I'm just like, fine, let's get on a phone call. So uh, what is the mm-hmm. problem? Remind me, Tom, because it's been a while. Remind me the problem that we're trying to solve. All right, so it's I have a um, I bought the novice four uh, package that came with the controller and the and the goggles and whatnot, and so I was able to configure the novice four. Um, I ended up not using the the transmitter that came with it because I wanted to use the one I normally did. So I, there was when I set it up that evening, I got it up and running, and I actually flew it around a, a large room that night. Everything was working perfectly. The next day, um, the the OSD was no longer visible in the display. Uh, uh, and so I went through Betaflight and tried to fiddle with different things that had something to do with video displays or, or whatnot, and nothing seemed to work. Eventually, I wasn't sure that I got it back to the to, to where it was to start, and, and there was a button that said Restore to Default Conditions, mm-hmm. uh, yes. which, was, which, which was a... A default condition far before it, it was in a state that it came to me. Uh, yeah, so, that, that uh, button. At that point, we tried to get it running again. Yeah, I wish that button were. Um, I mean, they've made attempts to warn you about what you're going to do, but it, people still fall into that trap, which is that that button restores the flight controller to beta flights defaults, which are completely different than the manufacturer's defaults for the Ishi Novice Four. And it basically wipes your config is what mm-hmm. it actually does. So what we're mm-hmm. going to try to do is get your Ishi Novice 4 set up, right? That's what we're here for. Right. And so now, so we had gotten a CLI dump from someone who had had one, uh, a similar model. And I tried I tried to load that. It looked like it did load, but it's it didn't. So, so the big concern it was, I guess it, it wouldn't it wouldn't work with that with that uh, after after loading it. And I think I loaded it by a file, not by pasting it in like you had yeah. suggested later. Okay. Um, but, um, but when it did do what it looked like in, you know, ingesting and processing the file, it, it didn't, you know, in beta flight, there's a, there's a page that shows the, the various UARTs that are available. And initially there were about four. I mean, it, the, the picture in the, in the owner's manual that I eventually sent you, Shows mm-hmm. what it should look like, yeah. but after the CLI, after the CLI reload, mm-hmm. um, it didn't look those, like there, that. There was, it didn't look like that. Yeah. So and, and it didn't work. Right. Uh, so Ishi novice for CLI dump. I did I send you? Did I send you that over email? Where did you find that? Uh, yeah. So like uh, you had, you said you didn't have one, but you reached out to your Discord and and someone there mm. did. So mm-hmm. they, they, they sent it to me okay. uh, and it didn't work. And then, uh, and then, so, so then also on that beta flight page where there's the restore to default, there's also a, a save a backup and reload. Uh, or, just, a, just or, ignore uh, that. Uh, that, that button is worse than useless. But, unfortunately, right, but we, but I did, but I did that. And then, and then it, uh, it was worse than before. And yeah. So, so now, now that... there's, a, now there's a two, two things. We, we lost the, we lost the initial configuration and then I did that restore thing, which made it even worse. Oh, that's right. So, so now beta flight doesn't recognize it any longer because, um, mm. because I did that, that upload, um, procedure. Okay. And so oh. we, we needed mm. to, you said we, we need, need to, to do some, we need to reflash. You know, we, we had to reflash. Right. Right. Okay. So I'm going to need to find out what, uh, do you have that CLI dump? From uh, the fella who sent it to you, can we look at that? I, I do. Yeah, pull uh, that up, please. Yeah, let me see. Target beta flight F four is what it says in on the product page. Let's see if that agrees. So we got to find the flight controller target, which is just which flight controller it has, so you can flash the right firmware to it. The product page for the novice four says the target is beta flight F four. Let's see if that agrees with the CLI dump that. Uh, that my my Discord member sent you. Board name, Beta uh, Flight so F4. That... So that does seem to agree. Okay. Um, right. Go ahead and unplug USB from the computer or or from the flight controller, whichever is convenient. Do you mm-hmm. know where the bootloader button is on that flight controller? It, 
I, I believe so. There's a picture in the manual, and it's, I think it's it's right behind one of the um, standoffs. But I but I can when I reach in there with a like a, a probe, I can feel something that feels like mm -hmm. it's a button. Let's uh, see so here. I think, Let me look I think here. I'm looking it. at the manual. Uh, yes, it, um, it's really unfortunate that it is not like, more easily accessible. <laughs> since you got it they should always put that on the edge of the board but they don't have a lot of room to work with so yeah it looks like it's a white button just uh get in there with something make sure it's uh, ideally it'd be something plastic not metal but just be careful if it's metal that you're not touching something you shouldn't be touching uh and while holding that down go ahead and plug in the usb please it's on the other side it's on the far side from the usb port and it looks, it's a little bit of a, a, a grainy It's picture. Looks like it's on the rear side of the quad, the back corner, far side from the USB port. It'd be the back right side, I guess, from, from the diagram I'm seeing behind the back right standoff. All right, so it says setting up a device for setting up STM32 bootloader. So I think Okay, that's a good it. sign. I do not see uh, in the upper right corner, I do not see the DFU driver, the DFU. So... Uh, that tells me we probably need to fix the STM32 bootloader driver. The way that we can do that is bring up a web browser, please, and go, uh, go just do a Google search. Um, search for Impulse RC driver fixer. First result. Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. And then driver fixer. There's a link right there. Impulse RC driver fixer. Now that's going to download an EXE file, which, uh, oh, you've already downloaded that previously, I see. Go ahead and hit open file. Now installing DFU driver, that's a good sign. Okay, that's a good sign. And now if you look in the beta flight configurator, yeah. we have yeah, DFU. DFU. So we are now yeah. able and ready to flash. Go ahead and just hit okay and close that browser window as well. We don't need that anymore. Um, let's go to the firmware flasher tab in beta flight configurator and mm -hmm. uh, choose a board. We will choose beta flight uh, F four, I believe was what we said it was. I believe that's correct. Um, is that here? Let me bring this in really quick. Yeah. This yeah, one, that's right. beta, beta flight F4. F4, beta flight F4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, let's do a full chip erase as well. So we'll enable full chip erase and we will hit load firmware online in the lower right. Okay. And then flash firmware. And then we will sit tight and let that finish. So how long have you been doing, doing this that, that you're, that you're so comfortable? I mean, obviously I'm brand new at it, but yeah. <laughs> I've been how, at how, this... many, how much more dues do I have to put in to get where I'm more comfortable with this? I mean, it gets just, it's a slow process. You know, you just get a little bit uh, more knowledgeable as you go. Uh, yeah. There's always more to learn and uh, there's always another uh, gotcha <laughs> to, uh, to trick you out. Um, so it's just a sort of a continual process. Uh, I've been at this for about, since about 2000, I mean, all told since probably about 2015. Now let's just, uh, unplug and replug the flight controller. Just power cycle that real quick. All right. Hit apply custom defaults. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And close that. We don't need to worry about that for now. All right, we are uh, back, uh, uh, was, oh, back this, to life. Yeah. yeah, let's go to the CLI All next. Right. And let's bring up that notepad window with the with the config dump that uh, the fella from my Patreon or from my Discord sent you. Right, let's good. just copy paste that, copy that. And we'll go down and we'll paste it in there. Paste and let's here. find out what happens. Mm -hmm. And hit enter. Enter from the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now let's see. We see a lot of nonsense there. All right. And now type the word save, please. Mm -hmm. And hit enter. Now, if uh, it's my lucky day, everything will be back how it should be. Well, that's a good, yeah. So you got the, that looks more like what it showed in the, man, in the manual. Looks pretty close. GPS. Yeah. To smart audio. Yeah. That looks, uh, mm -hmm. here, I got it on my screen. Go ahead. Hit hit the configurator. Hit the config. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, sorry. that com that, compl what? that completely matches everything. Um, can do you have your okay. controller? Um, yeah. 
Now, have you successfully gotten this all bound up? Um, I did before. Uh, so, so yes, I think the receiver should still be good. Okay. But that doesn't that doesn't have anything to do with the controller, right? So, controller's on. I'm gonna see if it's reacting. And yes, oh, there we go. Yes, fantastic. All right, so, let me see if let me put on let me open the video screen here and see if that on screen display problem is still. Yeah. So now let's see if we can figure out what's going on with your OSD. I wonder if it's maybe not selecting the strongest channel. I'm like, you, do. you think you might be on the wrong channel? So it, so it should be on race band one. Right? Did you change this to race band one or was it already like that? I don't know. Do me that, favor, that's just, what it's good. just hit the save button down in the lower right one time. Just let's make sure it's on race band one. Okay. And, and also change the power from 400 to 25 here on the bench. Uh, it may be overheating. So let's again hit the save button. So that may help. Um, uh, so it should be on race band one. I agree. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it looks like it looks like. Wait a minute. All right. So yeah. So it looks like I, mean, I got a small kind of. Can you see the tiny oh, monitor? Hold it closer. It looks like there is OSD information there. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic. So so I think we got it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, there yeah. you go. I'm very glad we uh, we got it. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. You're very welcome. Glad I could help. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, let awesome. you go and appreciate uh, appreciate you talking to me. Yeah. Well, and thank you so much for taking the time to help. That was amazing. I don't think it ever, <laughs> I mean, if, if I'd have gotten to that point, it would have been a long time of stumbling through things and being frustrated. Yeah. My pleasure. Have a good day, Tom. Get some flying in. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Bye. Take bye. care. Bye bye. Patrons are the people who make all this possible not to disrespect you because you're watching all the way to the end which really helps the analytics so i guess without you watching none of this would be possible but if you would subscribe or join my patreon two dollars a month or more it's up to you or at the very least you know leave a comment or click the affiliate links and do the show in a beautiful day Man, the lighting looks good out here. What's up, y'all? Out for a walk.